I think it's coming along pretty good. I got four boards in there. I have about five and a half more boards to go. Everything's staying nice and level and square. I'm making sure while I'm nailing and I'm measuring from the floor, from there to there and making sure nothing moves uh, because you know, even a new house, nothing is perfect, perfect square sometimes. So you always got to keep an eye on it, but everything's coming up good. Okay, so I'm gonna mount the bracket for the heater. Um, I've already measured. It's gotta be 0.8 inches. The heater's gotta be 0.8 inches from the wall. This is gonna give it about an inch and a half to two inches from the wall. Um, I'm gonna put it right about here. And then I'm gonna put a screw in. These screws came with it. And I'm gonna level it. Once I put one screw in, we'll figure out the level of it. Actually, yeah, I'll put one in. Right about, I think we'll be good right about, right about here. Let's try it. Nope. Let's try again. Why is this like this? Okay, let's try again. One handing it here. That's always the way to do things. Hey, let's do it again. Let's get the level. Drain them out. There is level. So let's go right here. This is where I'm at with the heater mount. I'm not gonna do the wiring just yet, just in case I have to take this off. I still have to build out this door frame and do a few things, so I don't wanna connect the wires just yet. But yeah, mounting this, this was a good uh, trial here on that. It was tough getting this, this bracket and the screw hole lined up. It was definitely a process, but uh, there it is, starting to come together. So I'm taking some of my warped hung and groove boards, which this one was, use the straight edge there, ran it through my table saw, and now I'm making uh, my trim pieces. So this is, uh, I'm cutting it at three quarters. So they're about a three quarter by three quarter square piece. I'm gonna be nailing that as my trim in all the corners to hide any nail marks, any gaps, that kind of thing. But that's how I'm making my trim pieces. Here we are with most of the trim pieces installed. So like I said, they're three quarter by three quarter. I think that looks really good. I installed this vent and you can put a piece of wood in the middle. I'll leave a link in the description of the name of this vent. Um, it's from Amazon as well. Um, oh, I also did the build out on the door frame. So this is two by four cedar that I cut down to just build it out. I started putting some of the door frame up. So you can see here, it all kind of matches up real nice. This is a clear one by four cedar. I'm gonna be using the same stuff for the benches. And 
done just finishing up this removable door that's going to be in here so I can get at the storage. All I have to do is insulate it. And then on this side, I'm just going to put that vapor barrier. It's actually really strong. It's not like um, tin foil that rips. It's actually quite strong. So I'm going to be putting it on this side as well. It's also on the inside here against the cedar. Um, and then I'll be able to move this in and out as needed to get out our big Christmas tree and all the other stuff. Um, not to get ahead of myself. I am going to be building a bench in this, and my plan is to build it, being that there isn't a ton of room here, I'm going to build it out. I was going to make it angled and go that way, but I'm not doing that anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a flip-up bench. So it's going to be hinged, and it's going to flip up. Uh, we're going to see how that goes. And next is to get the rocks and everything on the heater. And we'll go from there. We have to wash the rocks, do all that kind of stuff. But here we go. It's, it's coming along. Here are the Harvia stones that Harvia recommended for my little heater. So let's uh, open it up. Uh, what they recommend is they're pretty dusty. So they want you to wash them before you put them in uh, the heater. So what we're going to do is... Here's the rocks here. We're gonna set them in the heater, There's different sizes. And what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put some water in here and we're gonna rinse them off and then put them in the heater. So let's do that. Okay, so let's put some of these rocks in here. Let's kinda of shake it off here a little bit. says not to pack them too much. Let's see here if we we'll see some different sizes. Is that the one? You could probably overthink this if you really wanted to. It just says not to force them in there, which I'm doing. are getting the dust off anyway. So you can tell this outer edge here is a thicker space than in here. So if I keep the thinner ones for in there, like this guy here is pretty thin. So. That worked. Yeah, you just kind of figure it out. Another thin guy here. Kinda. Oh, it's just water, right? Put that one in there like that. And I'm just going to keep stacking them. You get the idea. I'll show you when I'm all done here. Okay, I finished putting the rocks on the inside, and then I put the grill. I know it's hard to see here. I'm trying to... All I have is my LED lighting, but you can see in there the rocks. And then this grill... And then now I'm going to put more rocks on top of the grill. And then we're done. Okay, it's done. That's how it looks. we got some rocks on top here. They're all placed in pretty good. I don't think any of these are going to fall out. Something you can put some water on. And there it is. Rocks are in. The only thing that's left in here is the bench, but we're a little premature. I think I want to turn the heater on just to check it out, make sure everything's working good. So let's do that. Okay, let's turn this heater on. So I have it on max here. And then this is the hour on. So it's on for one hour. So I threw that up there. It's not above the heater but it's on the wall across from the benches. So next step though is to build the bench, but let's. Okay, so here is just a quick mock-up of what the bench is gonna look like. So here's the idea is, I don't know if you can see here, this is a hinge, this is a spacer, there's gonna be a gap in here just to help it breathe. Plus it also helps me 
with this hinge for when I put the um, one by fours on top of here, I'll be able to fold it up having this gap here. So I'm gonna go four hinges all along. Right now the board's just held by wedging it in here. I'm gonna make it obviously a little bit sh shorter so that the bench can flip flip upward freely. It's gonna flip up to here out of the way. It's gonna stick out, you know, to about here. It's gonna be about 22 to 23 inches wide. Um, so that's how it's gonna be. So I'm gonna go up to the garage and build it. We'll go from there. Okay, here's the start of my bench. I just got the boards laid on here, they're not cut. I did the frame. So you can see I've got supports, two supports in the middle. Uh, there'll be a face board. It'll be like that. It'll butt up and it'll hide this front two by four. Um, it's pretty basic. So I didn't film all my cuts or anything. I used deck screws for the bench. And then I got hinges in the back. Just like that. And this will hinge on the wall. And then when it comes down, I'll have supports like two by fours on the wall. But yeah, this is the bench so far. To um, secure these, I'm gonna screw up from the bottom to attach them so there's no nail holes or screw holes visible. And I'll film that part though. Okay, so the bench is done. So I got half inch gaps. I got the hinges here. I put a face board on, you can see. I think it looks pretty good. It's ready to go in the sauna. Let's go see how it fits. I just finished putting on the back support for the bench. So the bench is going to be sitting on here and then the hinge will be attached higher up and then it'll flip upward. But the weight of the people in the bench at the back is going to be on that right there. And then I'll put a board there and then I'll put one over here and then I'll probably have to put a leg in the corner here. Obviously I won't have to put a leg here and then uh, we'll see how that goes. But next is going to be the bench and attaching the hinges and see how that goes. Okay, let me show you guys what I have done here. So like I said in the last little clip, I'm gonna be building a piece here that the bench is gonna sit on. This here's the board that I installed that the bench is gonna be sitting on. I did install the lights. I have strip lights and if you can see, I put two strips all the way along this bottom board that the bench is sitting on. I think it gives enough light. It's all color changing. Uh, let me find the remote here. Where's the remote for that? Well, I, I can't find it. Um, it's all color changing, any color you want. So it's pretty cool, it gives a nice little ambient light. So I installed the hinges. So as you can see here, right above the bench here, or the board, sorry that it's resting on. These are the hinges. I did three, I said I was gonna do four. I went with three hinges, just like that. Now, let me show you guys the bench. So we've got that side piece it's gonna rest on. And then over here, I added a leg and here's the bench installed. So as you can see, it's sitting upward. So I installed this little tab here. Uh, I just turn and it frees the bench. You can see I added a leg. So here's the bench coming down. 
you pull, make sure that leg comes down like that. And here it is. Let me just back out so you guys can see it all. So there's the bench installed. It's long enough. I'm six feet tall and I can lay on this nicely. Oh, here's the remote. So now I can change colors. So let's go red. We can do a nice red glow in here. Just like that. And then let me lift the bench up. I'll show you guys how it works. So as you're lifting, the leg swings down. And then I put the tab down just like that. Because of the space between the heater and the bench, this allows everyone to walk in freely with no issues. So all I have to do is I have to build a little guard here. They say for this heater, I'll leave a link to the description of this heater, by the way. I don't think I've done that yet. It's a Harvia Vega Compact. It's like a they call it a, uh, I think it's a BC35, so 3.5 um, is the power rating on it. Um, so I'll leave a link in the description for that. Um, so I have to build that guard, and then I'm going to put some cedar flooring in here. Right now it's just concrete. So I'm going to do that. I'll get to that. Um, but I'm going to end the video with this being completed other than I'm going to add a little grill guard there for around the heater um, and flooring eventually. But the flooring is going to be a long time away because I'm kind of liking the concrete. But let's... Put the bench down one more time. Turn that. And then the leg swings down like that. The other part of the bench goes on there. I know it's dark. I don't have much for lighting in here other than... So there it is. It's been a long process. I've been... Working on this, um, you know, an hour or two on a weekend type thing. It's been about six months. So you can see the trim. Let me shut the door here. So this is, this is how it looks. You walk up. I kept the continue look of that trim. This door fit in there. This has some clear one by four cedar on the outside. And that's how it looks. And then I'm probably going to eventually build a little a little stand so the so the bucket here can can rest on right by the heater. But yeah, so you can see the space here. This is why I made it a flip up bench. I'm still able to remove that far wall to get at storage once the bench is flipped up and it's safe so that you can walk by because right now having it built out like this it's pretty tight so it's good you can flip it up so I hope you enjoyed these three videos that I've made of this sauna right from when there was still drywall in here and it was used as storage to a finished completed sauna if you guys have any questions please leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll do more videos of the sauna uh, when I do the other little projects. So stay tuned for more. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel. Help me out. And thanks for watching.